Hello, in today's video I'm going to show you how to build your own conversion calculator very similar to the one um, Google has on the result page when you search unit conversion like this one but using Excel. So with this mini project we will practice the following Excel skills creating tables, defining names of lists, dependable drop-down lists with data validation, functions like VLOOKUP, INDIRECT, CONVERT IF ERROR, and creating and using a macro. Let's start first with a quick demo of how that works and what the final result will look like and what to expect from this project. So in cell C3 you can come here and use the drop down to select what kind of um, measurement type you want to convert. So let's start with length. Uh, so C5 is to define quantity. You can type anything here like numbers but let's leave it to 1 default because it's easy to see if it's working or not. Cell C6 is another drop down that will give you the different length units in this case and you can select for example one kilometer you want to convert it to um, mile so you, you can see the result is 0 0.62 miles and we can change it not only from um, metric to imperial system but we can use within the same system. So instead of miles, we can see meters. So 1,000 meters are equal to one kilometer. It's correct, right? So now if we want to select different thing, let's say volume, this thing is not changing. The units are staying the, the same. So for that purpose, I uh, devised, created, um, a macro that will clear the selection and after we clear the selection we can select the different uh, type of measurements so let's say temperature and check one uh, degree celsius is equal to how many degrees fahrenheit exactly the same clear the selection and use something else you want time for example and one day is equal to how many hours? 24 hours. So that's it. It looks very fun and easy to work with. You don't have to calculate. The formulas will calculate for you. So let's quickly jump into another worksheet that I've uh, built for our exercise and step by step uh, show you how this is done. What you need to do first is to have um, all of the measurements and units uh, listed in a in a small tables and have their headers set with uh, the type of the measurement. So, for example, length we have all of these length units, and then there's abbreviation which Excel is going to use uh, for the convert uh, function. Let's show you how convert function works. So we have equal convert and then we select the number or the, 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 the quantity we want to change from one unit to another. So again, I'll select one because it's easy and let's find one meter, for example, double click and then select to the unit we want to change. Let's find what else we want here inches yeah double click inch and close so this is how it works we are going to use this formula in cell e6 but uh, later after we've done some prep work so the first thing is to build a small table that will have our measurement units to be used for the drop down list in c4 so we'll for the header of table measurements and we'll list our headers of uh, the subtables 
length temperature area volume mass time and what else is there speed last one is speed uh, so once we have our cell selected we define this table control T and we create a new table and we have headers so we select my table has header okay and this is our table we'll change the name of the table to something more prominent so TBL measurements okay and now we have to define the list for the unit drop downs so we'll go to each of the small uh, unit tables and go to define name we'll use the name of the header so length the next one will be temperature it have to be spelled correctly the same way it is spelled in the header area next one is volume mass time and speed okay now that we finish we can go to name manager and see if everything is correct so we have table measurement it has all the table uh, lines there and we have the names uh, defined for volume time temperature speed mass length area so each of them has to match the lines in our leading table so why we select a table i'll show you later how we can add additional um, subunit type to the table and it will automatically be selected from the drop down so next thing is let's go and do the drop down we click on c4 and go to data data validation data validation uh, selection uh, we'll select list and from here we need to do uh, a formula so this formula will be referring to the table so we we'll use indirect formula and it will have quotations then the name of the table tbl measurements and measurements is the list that we have sublist in the table we are closing the quotation and closing the brackets so this will be enough for us to have the drop down list that's our first drop down list when we go to the next drop down list it's the unit so we're going again to data validation selecting list and now we have to link or refer this list to whatever it's selected in the c4 cell so right now we'll do indirect to c4 and it should be the absolute uh, reference so clicking ok is fine because there was nothing there it gave us error so let's select volume and see all of our volumes are here right what we need to do in e7 is just copy the formula or the 
data validation from C7 and paste special validation. So now we're good. We, we have already uh, our drop-down set. Yes. Next thing is we need to add a formula here to calculate this into this unit. So we'll go with our convert formula. So convert and use whatever it's entered in C6. Uh, and then instead of selecting each of these, we will do a VLOOKUP. But when you're typing VLOOKUP, it's not going to type it for you or to help you. So you have to um, finish the formula yourself because there is no help provided by Excel. So we're looking up the unit selected over here and we need to use the abbreviation in J, uh, in column J. So I to J and we're selecting the second column and false. So that's our first view lookup. That's why we have all these units listed into columns so it's easy to look up. Um, second option is to do another VLOOKUP for the, the second unit. So we do VLOOKUP E7 into again I to J and we want the second column and false. Closing with another bracket and we're done. So now our formula works correctly. Yes, everything looks good. What it's very important if you, for example, you've mixed up the spelling of the, the unit's abbreviation, you will get an NA. So for example, right now we're looking at volumes. Let's uh, change this to M and you're getting NA just because uh, the abbreviation doesn't match uh, whatever Excel has abbreviated in the convert formula. So make sure when you're adding your um, lists of abbreviation and units, make sure that they're correctly spelled. Um, in order to avoid this NA and looks more professional, we'll add if error. So, if error, we will have a blank. It looks a lot more professional and looking good and we can investigate if it's blank. Uh, we don't want to see uh, an A. Right, so now our converter is ready. You can move this to a different um, uh, spreadsheet so it doesn't stay here, it doesn't look weird here so I'll cut and move it to the second spreadsheet and I'll cut this one and move it again we can see if the formulas still work let's test it they should work uh, let's select time and then day and minutes. So we have 1440 minutes in one day. Let's move this away from our um, window. So last thing we need to do is add our small macro that will clear the table, clear the selection for the next units we want to change. So how we're going to do Let's go to insert and take a shape. This is the shape I was using in my example and I'll use again. And we can type clear selection. And let's uh, increase the number to here. Okay. And we will uh, record a macro very quick and very 
easy macro. So where the macro lives on top view, we have macros. Click there and click record macro. We'll name this clear selections. Um, and we can save it in this work or personal macro work. I'll use this work. So what we need to do is simply delete what we've selected in C4, in C7, and E7. And we can stop the macro. Now that we have the macro, let's take a look. Yes, it's here. And we can assign it to our shape, clear selection. So right click on the shape, assign macro, get the macro here, and that's okay. Now we can test it. Let's test. We have mass, one kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. We're done, clear, and we can use another measurement time like one hour is equal to how many minutes 60 minutes yes so that's it i hope you like this video and it is fun and useful project for you thanks for watching Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.